Hey guys, you're here for a Solstice of Heroes Warlock Objectives Guide with tips and cheeses. You can check the other classes in the video description. Last year I made an organized list, however this year Seraphim Angels and Chinigan has already done that, so I'll be using that guide as a reference. Feel free to check the pinned comment for timestamps on each armor's objectives. See the video description for the updated Google Doc or to download the images on screen. Note the elemental orbs drop based on your equipped subclass, but mostly just the same element as the weapon you used to kill the enemy. Orbs don't last very long on the ground, so pick them up quickly. While objectives can be done in any order, pay attention to the All category. These are things you should focus on in addition to the activities that you are playing. For Gambit or Crucible, you need to do three things. It's usually better to do some Gambit and some Crucible. Note, stay away from Gambit Prime and Competitive, because there are no elemental orbs in those playlists. Get your Guardian kills and then go for Arc Orbs. Whenever you need a specific elemental orb, make sure to change your subclass to that element as well. Run an Arc subclass and Arc weapons in regular Gambit. For Strikes, you need to launch the Vanguard Strikes playlist. Have Dawnblade and Solar weapons, not Well of Radiance. For free roam, you should do 5 adventures. The easiest way is usually to look at the flashpoint for the week, and there should always be a heroic adventure. You can do the same one all 5 times. It does not say that you have to do public events on a specific location, but that might just be a bug. The other classes say they must be done on Nessus. For public events, you can double dip. It doesn't really matter if they're made heroic, do it however is faster. After you see the event counted on the armor, immediately fast travel to the same location that you're at. Try and join the same public event, but in a different server instance that has already started, allowing you to do multiple of the same event in just a few minutes. If there isn't an event, fast travel a few more times and you might get lucky. This only works while solo though. I would do the aerial zone last to check how many key fragments you have for packages. For EAZ, you need to defeat 50 enemies with a Void subclass. This automatically completes the other 50 enemies' objective. This seems weird because it replaced a harder objective last year that they removed. You will likely need to do multiple runs to get more packages. Make sure to use something that can get precision kills like a hand cannon. After all that, you can upgrade your armor at the statue. Now that you have the Majestic set, you can purchase Universal Armor Ornament Glows from Eververse. For Gambit or Crucible, you can defeat 100 Guardians with Solar Weapons as a team. This would be easier in Crucible with a fire team of like-minded Warlocks. Hard Light or Summoner could be a good choice. The Gambit matches are usually quicker in Prime, but then you can't do the 1000 Elemental Orbs matching your subclass in the All category, so I'd probably do Gambit last. For strikes, you want to choose playlist again. You need to have the same subclass as the elemental burn day. You can check the day by looking at your character menu. Then use solar weapons for solar orbs. Since you don't need completions, you could farm lost sectors or blind well in the strikes you load into. You need to complete 10 heroic public events. For this, you can double dip as I mentioned in the previous armor objective. Patrols need to be on Titan. For patrols, you can reroll them. While you can't access all patrols at the same time, you can start and then immediately abandon the ones that you don't like. This will allow you to choose a different patrol. Patrols are static and have been mapped on lowly dev, so you can know what patrols are available in every area and what they do. I usually do the one kill anything patrol and two salvage patrols in each area. If you want to do those patrols a second time, just go to orbit and load back in. On Titan, there are many patrols in an area. In the Winding Cove, there are only a few. There are a couple patrol tricks as well. For Kill Anything patrols, you can leave an area and even do a Lost Sector to complete it. For Scavenge patrols, you can easily cheese them. Have a fire team, and each member will get a Scavenge drop if you are next to each other or next to the enemy that gets killed. Each player can pick up that same drop on their screen. That means you kill one drag, and you could get two to three drops as opposed to just one if you're solo. This can drastically speed up patrols. The EAZ is pretty easy. Kill 200 enemies and collect 200 orbs. So focus on the All category. 2000 Elemental Final Blows. 
If you don't use a kinetic, you should be pretty good with this. 100 ability kills. This should be completed by 150 arc super kills. While it says it must be done against guardians, it's actually against any enemy. This works great on top tree stormcaller with crown of tempest. An easy way to farm this is by rallying public event flags or the flag by Eris and immediately supering nearby enemies. This can also be done quickly in the Whisper Mission Thrall Room, or put in the Shirochi Wish. Then drop a Rally Flag, kill the Thrall, and wipe to repeat. For 300 Hive and Void, just use the subclass element of the Elemental Burn Day shown on your character menu. Then farm the Law Sector in Braytech Futurescape on Mars with Void Weapons. The rest should be done passively. Even bosses if you farm that particular Law Sector. Go to the statue and upgrade into Magnificent Armor. Now you can get random rolled armor from opening Solstice packages. These objectives do not need to be completed during Solstice. They are just to unlock the white glow on the armor. The objectives last year were also account scoped. That means if you have all three characters currently on Magnificent Armor, you can do all of the objectives at the same time. Some objectives might not unlock retroactively. But if you have all three characters on Magnificent Armor, doing seven Trials wins and other objectives should complete on all three classes of Guardians by just doing it once on one Guardian, cutting your effort by two-thirds, even though you aren't logged into your other characters. This only works for Magnificent Armor though, so make sure you have all classes on Magnificent Armor before you start those challenges. These objectives require you to win seven Trials matches, they can be spread out, so you don't need to win them in a row. For the Nightmare Hunt, just pick a lower level difficulty. The Master Nightfall is harder. You can check out my solo Master Nightfall Lake of Shadows cheese video, or my other Strike Cheese videos for help. Complete Pit of Heresy Dungeon. And defeat the final boss in Altars of Sorrow three times. You can use the Destiny Companion app to make a no mic LFG post if you usually play solo. Some final notes, never dismantle solstice armor that you are working on objectives. Always have those armor pieces equipped while completing those objectives. The magnificent set might not need to be equipped while completing those, but why risk it? If your blue or majestic tier armor is a low power, you may be able to grab it from collections at a higher power. This can help against invaders and gambit, but only do that if you don't have any progress on that armor piece yet. The empowerment buff for 30 elemental orbs matching the elemental burn day grants tons of effects, so use those to help in solo flawless dungeon runs. You have 4 weeks of solstice of heroes. You can see those effects on screen. Don't expect this to get done in one day, it will take a lot of work to complete. Also check out the pinned comment on this video for any updates to this video guide. Cheese forever, Guardian.